be racing local crew Ship Lake College, and they are off. I really love the start to the quad. It's just such a powerful, you know, explosion off the line. I think on day one, there's a lot of nerves to get those races off and running as well. And so the adrenaline is high. Everyone's testing each other. If you don't get through this race, that's the end. So there's no holding back off the start. What do you make of those, uh, the technique in those two crews? Yeah, right off the start, you could see they started out with some shorter strokes to really accelerate that boat from standing still. They really have to go from, from zero to top speed as fast as possible, trying to really accelerate that boat and maybe eke out a little bit of a lead and gain a, establish a good position uh, against their competitors. So it's looking pretty tight, isn't it? I mean, the Ship Lake College of a local crew, so they'll know this water. They'll be much more confident steering. They won this event a few years ago, and uh, you know they're going to—they're one of the favourite crews. But the Canadians will not have come over unless they think they've got a really strong crew. And that's the thing about being a foreign competitor here. You, you, you spend all the time, all the year, working hard to really see, test your medal to see if you're going to be good enough to race here. And then once you're here, you know, you have one shot to really, to really show that, uh, that you're going to make it through and that you are, deserve to be here. So at the moment, Ship Lake are edging ahead. Both crews are really rowing long. And then we get a lovely shot of the Ship Lake crew. Sophia at bow, Elizabeth at two, Eva at three, and Florence at stroke. And we see that's looking pretty comfortable in the rhythm now, isn't it? I mean, pushing, pushing hard but a good rhythm set up for them. Yeah, I really like the way that the stroke, uh, Sophia was getting nice and long, you know, getting those oars in the water and just really pushing, you know, and accelerating. I like that they're trying to really get, you know, extension away from those puddles and really let the boat do the work. So you can see they are running in between each stroke a lot more and then now they're going to be getting confidence because they'll be able to start to see more and more of the backs of the Shawnigan Lake School crew. Estelle Shepard at bow, Catherine Young at two, Eva Morton at three, Sophia Wolfenberger at stroke. They've come a long way and they are going to be giving that absolute all. They've done really well in Canadian High School Championships. They've got a lot of experience. Canadian Henny Regatta, uh, Catherine Young at two. She won gold in the quad a couple of years ago. So these are seasoned racers, but they are really being asked questions early on by that Ship Lake School. What is it that they're doing better in the Ship Lake College crew? Yeah, you really saw the relaxation as they got out of their start sequence. They were really able to lengthen out. And right now you can see they're just getting those nice long strokes, really moving that boat. You can look at the bow. They're really trying to make sure that it's running out. And, you know, you can look over at the at the uh, Shawnigan Lake School, and they're just a little bit higher. They, they're, you know, just a little bit more tension in the boat. It's the beauty of being in a sport, the advantage of the fact you're facing backwards. I mean, you get all of the psychological advantage of being able to see your opponent. You relax when you're ahead. And the Shawnigan Lake School crew, they're looking around. They're thinking, you know, what can we do at this point? The steering, I notice, has been much cleaner, a real dart down the course from that Shawnigan Lake School and that, uh, sorry, from the Ship Lake College crew. And, and that's because they have that local knowledge. So that's a huge advantage for them. Um, there we go, lovely over sh overhead shots there. It's a little bouncy out there it's a little chilly but a pretty good conditions really for rose we don't want it too hot do we that's right one thing that you mentioned you know that experience this is this uh the ship lake crew has uh has zero previous henleys but they row here and then you have the shawnigan lake school and they have zero previous henleys and as you were talking about you can see their courses if they're making that s turn to make those corrections rowing between the booms like that's a different experience yeah, the booms. You can see beautiful overhead shots there of the booms. It's not like any other race. You normally have just some boys or buoys uh, between you. But here you've got to all the time think about the steering. Whoever's got that job, it is a stressful job at Henley to make sure. We've already seen a crew this morning hit the booms. So day one, you're finding out your place on the course. And now Shawnigan Lake, they're coached by Jennifer Parfit, who's new this year to Shawnigan Lake School as the head of rowing. She has herself incredibly experienced in Canadian rowing. She was on the national team for six years. She was in the She's an Olympian from Atlanta in 1996. She's been working for uh, the National Governing Body We're in Canada for a lot of the time. And she is now seeing what she can do with her crew. And, and they're being tested, aren't they, at this point? Yeah, it looks like they've settled down a little bit now. They're a little bit more relaxed. And the question is, have, 
you know, can they start to eat into that lead? And they'll have to do it quickly. They'll have to make a decision, like we can pull back. And it's really one of those things where you go inch by inch now. And that builds the confidence. You can see it hurting on the face of Estelle Shepard. This is a point where the winter training really counts. They're 17 and 18 years old in both of these crews. They're rowing with incredible technical proficiency. And there is a lot of effort going in now. They're trying to lift it in the Shawnigan Lake School. They're trying to see they do not want to go home on the first day. They've come all this way, but they have come up against probably one of the favored crews. And you know, we're seeing that Ship Lake College, they're a force, aren't they, in junior rowing. And we can see that there in that shot supreme. They've, they've got length, haven't they? They've got run and they're you know, on top of this race at the moment. Yeah, one thing that you mentioned, poise, you know, at a young age, really having to being behind. And can you get back behind? Can you trust your race plan? And, you know, it looks like these young ladies from Ship Lake have really just gotten out and got that edge. And that's very important here at Henley because, as you said, that gives you the opportunity to relax a little bit. Lovely shot from behind, brilliant camera angles that are set up down this course to give us all sorts of insights and perspectives on the racing here. And a little more horizontal, you can see in that crew uh, from Ship Lake College. Yeah, they're, they're not digging the blades. They're pretty horizontal through, and that's efficient. So over the length of a Henley course, you need some efficiency. You can see there, really good blade work. That's just a little tidier than what's happening in the Shawnigan Lake School, where there is no shortage of effort going into the Shawnigan Lake School. They are fighting. They're going to chuck everything in. They are taking the rate up. They are seeing what they can do. They have to put everything in at this point. And we get that shot from behind. It's not quite as synchronized as in the other crew, but my goodness, they are really going for it. Yeah, that's the one thing you see here at Henley. No one shuts it down. Everyone keeps going. That level of effort, whether you're in the lead or whether you're behind, is always there. And you've gone past the co-race court as we come up to the line. It's been a pretty dominant display. The last few strokes, they're going to have to pull it all the way. Their rate has dropped in that Ship Lake College crew, though, because they know that they are through the first day, and we'll be seeing them again in Henley. And after a valiant effort, as they come all the way, as they race it to the line, I'm afraid the Shawnigan Lake School from Canada was so glad they came to race, but I'm afraid that's the end of their regatta. So it is a win for Ship Lake College.